Hey, what's up, fellow indie devs? Uh, so, I can't talk and play at the same time, so bear with me here, but, um... <clears throat> um as you can tell, I'm not dead. Um, I actually do plan on making some more videos. Um, but, uh... Sounds like maybe a likely story. But, uh... I've been, um... Basically dealing with hardware issues, so I had a monitor die on me. And then, uh, shortly after that... I had a hard drive crash and I literally lost everything on it, so all my files, um, luckily GitHub's got my uh, project saved, but um, basically any software, anything else I was using is all gone, so I'm still trying to get everything set up and uh, it's been kind of slow going, uh, especially because I opted for a uh, SSD this time, and so I'm dealing with a lot less memory than I'm used to until I get another regular drive. Um, but. Uh, Anyway, I'll eventually get back up to it. Like I said, I'm I'm still alive, I'm still here, so uh, the videos will continue. But kind of one of the things I was thinking was um, we'll finish up the series on uh, OpenGL. I'll get the 2D lighting up and running, and then we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of branch out from there because this RPG is not going to be finished anytime soon. Um, so basically, uh, what I'm thinking is there's another game that I kind of have been tinkering around with. I actually wrote it in JavaScript, or a, a simplified prototype of it anyway. And it's something I think graphics and designing the levels aside could be finished in something like, I don't know, maybe a week or two. Uh, tack on a few more weeks for the full development process, maybe longer, I don't know. Just depends on how distracted I get. It's something kind of like a uh, action puzzler, basically. So, um, <clears throat> a little bit more of a simple concept, uh, a lot less ambitious, which you know, it's not that I'm not going to finish the other game, but um, I think this one will show kind of how to bring all the concepts that we talked about together. And it'll keep things simple, since um, a lot of people I've noticed since I started the project are basically very, very new to game design. Um, the project that I have with this RPG is just so complex that, you know, when, I think when a lot of people are taking a look at it, they're going, you know, well, what am I looking at? Yeah, it's one thing to try to figure out what's going on in, you know, 12 different uh, modules, but if you've got, like, 100, including complex systems and all that stuff, then you start to be distracted by the code more so than by the learning process. Um, so, anyway, this will kind of keep it simple, keep things streamlined, and, uh, like I said, we'll finish the we'll finish the series that we're on now so that I'm not kind of leaving you guys high and dry, but, uh, I think this will be a good way to go. Uh, but bear with me, I've got to kind of get caught up to where I was. I haven't looked at this code in something like eight or nine months. Um, so, there we go. Um, I haven't looked at the code in like eight or nine months, so I've got to get caught up on where I was so I can finish this series. And then, uh, in the meantime, I'm taking some classes and stuff, so my time is going to be a little bit low. Plus, I've got to, uh, I've got to find all the software that I had on this stupid thing. I'm, I'm missing some CDs for some of the software that I really needed for uh, game design and stuff like that. So, um, and besides that, just downloading has been... Getting everything downloaded and caught up has been kind of a pain. But anyway, you don't care to hear about that. The point is, I'm here. We'll get the uh, series picked up again in the next video. Um, until then, see ya.